They are at times nothing more than petulant and angry children lashing out at their elders and betters. The ISIS thugs who will kill for pleasure, pillage with glee, and now take their hatred of everything they stand against to the destruction of priceless works of art. Yet another reason to hunt them down and dispatch them with expediency. Our guest is an Iraqi archaeologist at Stony Brook University in New York State. Welcome, Abdul Amir Al Hamdani. Abdul Amir, thank you so much for joining us. That's my pleasure. What are we talking about as far as the destruction? We hear 3,000 year old Mosul museum artifacts. What have we heard? Well, this is the new thing that it was confirmed by the Minister of Antiquities that the ISIS, you know, members. They attacked the city of Nimrud yesterday afternoon. They started using bulldozers, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to destroy the winged bulls at the palace of the king, Ashur uh, Nasirpal, that dates back to the uh, 9th century BC. Now, this is new. I mean, everybody was expecting that ISIS will move from Mosul to Nimrud. Uh, Nimrud is one of the targeted, you know, sites. Now, ISIS has a plan to destroy the Iraqi heritage one by one. So they started by destroying the Mosul Museum. Now they moved to uh, Nimrud. So it was confirmed that ISIS was destroying the ancient city of uh, Nimrud yesterday afternoon, the palace of Ashur uh, Nasapal and the temple of Ishtar. Give us an idea, if you will, the historical value of some of the pieces that we believe have been destroyed. Well, the winged bulls are the, uh, are the palace. You know, we do, we do have two winged bulls at the entrance of the, of the palace that are very unique and very important piece of art in the history of uh, Mesopotamia. Nimrud was one of the Assyrian capital, and it's a very important site. And destroying the ancient, you know, ruins and the art of the city is really a big loss. And we don't know what happened to uh, the city itself, you know, you know uh, it, it could be looted. We do have, you know, reliefs at the palace. We have very important art there, and we don't know what's going on inside the city. And uh, we don't know what would be, you know, n n n next. I believe the city was destroyed and probably, you know, they moved to a new site. Do people see this? You mentioned this very briefly a, a few seconds ago. But as ISIS's attempt to, pr to try and destroy a civilization, to try and wipe it from the earth so that no one thinks about it anymore, so that all they have to think about is what they stand for. Unfortunately, that's what happened exactly ISIS has a plan to destroy the Iraq heritage, and that's actually based on their interpretation and understanding of Islam. This is actually nothing to do with the, with the Islam. This is, unfortunately, the ISIS way of destroying the people, killing the people, and destroying their uh, heritage. Were any of these things seen as being in, in violation of worshipping Allah? Because that's what they said, these ruins, idols, and statues that people in the past used to worship instead of their God. Was it viewed that way by the, by the Islamic well, faith? Well, the short answer, I mean, the heritage, the civilization, the Mesopotamian civilization was there in Iraq for thousands of years. Now, why nobody attacked them? I mean, we do have Ayatollah Sistani as an example, a very religious, you know, leader. He issued a fatwa, what's called the religious order, in 2003. I went uh, to uh, Najaf, I met with him. I did explain to him that the looters, they don't distinguish between Islamic and non-Islamic uh, civilization. And he said, no, Islamic and non-Islamic civilization are the same. It's the humankind civilization and we all have to respect them. I, so think you, I think you said it right there, it's the humankind and you have to respect that no matter what and that seems to be the biggest That's problem here. Un unfortunately we are all out of time, this is just tragic what has happened. Let us only hope that they are able to stop them before they do any more damage. Abdul Amir uh, Alhamdani, I want to thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. All right, take care. Coming up next, a dad, a cyber bully, and a lesson that maybe our weak need politicians in Washington DC can learn from. It's all about standing up. Here's one guy who did. We'll tell you about it when we continue right here on Midpoint.